Most conversations surrounding 240 hertz usually involve input lag, but never discussed is how incredibly amazing the motion looks. There, the motion blur becomes very minimal, like this compared to 60 uh, FPS, it's just, it's just night and day. And if you're a guy that's just prone to crazy eye strain, this is like the greatest thing on the planet, 240 hertz. What I'm actually waiting for is 240 hertz OLED, because that means the uh, the the GT GTG changes faster, the gray to gray. So that's how fast the colors change. LED is not very good at uh, uh, changing colors fast. It's actually really slow. So when we get 240 hertz OLED. It's gonna be the, for me at least, it will be the be all end all of monitors. The year was 2008 and man did my life really go down. So we had switched from CRT computer monitors to flat screens. And at the time, flat screens were absolutely terrible. Uh, aside from them not weighing 800 pounds like a CRT monitor, what you would look at every time you scrolled is an image like that. Well, it never gets talked about enough, but there's people where their number one cause of migraines and eye strains is not necessarily the LED light itself, which if you search the internet, that seems to be all that gets talked about is high blue light, uh, the flicker from the LEDs, and th trust me, those can be uh, issues and very bright searing LEDs, those can be very eye straining. But when you look at, if you spend eight hours a day on a computer on a 60 Hertz, uh, monitor looking at an image like that how good do you think that is for your eyes as opposed to when we used to have CRTs and yes you had to deal with the CRT flicker but that was the image you looked at now imagine spending eight hours on that so there's a good argument for both and what ended up happening is oh from 2008 till about 2019 was just anytime I used these screens I had like migraines, eye strain, and I knew about refresh rate, but I never like correlated that um, until I came to this Blurbuster site and it was just laid out, like just fully laid out. We're starting to get really close though to good screens. Uh, 240 Hertz OLED, according to this website, if you look at a lot of the discussions and I encourage you to go to this Blurbuster site if you haven't already because what they're saying is uh, from what he's tested, uh, 240 hertz OLED is equivalent to a 500 uh, hertz or 500 hertz LED monitor because the OLED's pixel response time is so fast, the image is just always clear. And imagine you were an office worker. Why would this be important sitting in front of a computer for all that time? Well, a lot of people like to scroll. And for example, if you're looking at cat videos, this is a 240 hertz monitor you're looking at right now but the image will stay clean as opposed to if you're using 60 where every time you start going down, it starts getting blurry. But even 240 Hertz ha comes with its blur as we see uh, by this image right here, there's 240 Hertz. And I, th I believe this image is assuming that uh, you're using uh, an OLED because I don't think uh, LED is that clear because I think, yeah, it's assuming that you have a, a zero milliseconds gray to gray, which that would be more in line with OLED because uh, LED usually is like like one to seven this number depending on how good of a monitor you have so OLED is just a game changer so this is why 240 Hertz especially OLED in my opinion is gonna be the the thing and 2023 looks to be the year that we're gonna start seeing tons of them I believe um, BenQ and LG all have some um, I believe the company's called Doe. They used to be known as Eve, but they had to change their name for uh, licensing issues or something like that. But be on the lookout next year for 240 hertz OLED monitors, especially if you were someone who suffers from eye strain like I do. I am telling you, I did not own a cell phone. I barely used a computer. I could not use a computer for like 12 years. It wasn't until 2019, I believe, I bought 144 hertz yeah, when I bought that 144 hertz LED monitor though, man, did my life change. Then I figured it out. So then I just went on this never ending quest. Now the phone I use is 120 hertz OLED. I can use a phone all day with no eye strain. And then finally I finished off. I actually bought the same monitor twice because I knew that the next monitors I would be buying would be a 240 hertz OLED monitor. 
But I'm a big fan of these guys. These were actually um, their ViewSonic. I believe they're ViewSonic. Yeah, they're ViewSonic XG 270s, and they're made by. Um, they have the Blurbusters um, certification in them, where you can uh, do black frame insertion, which means as long as you can keep the game above 120 hertz, which this game would be very easy, you can have very smooth motion, which is pretty incredible at a very minimal cost of lag, but if you're playing at such a high refresh rate and you're using a wired controller, you're not really... Uh, can, if you're playing RPGs, lag doesn't, in my opinion, barely matters anyways, unless it's an action RPG. But there you have it. If you're incredibly eye strain, motion blur is something to consider. Or, or if you just like a nicer, smoother image and you like to... Uh, uh, sees 240 hertz in action because man does it ever beat 60 so for all the people saying it doesn't matter I, th I think in if you're using it for like a short term like maybe like 30 minutes 60 minutes and say that's all you use to screen a day yeah then you're not probably going to get too much of a benefit out of 240 hertz but if you have a job that requires you to use a computer all day and you just use a computer all day or use screens all day the benefits of 240 hertz OLED it's going to be a game changer Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.